What's up, my warriors of Jagoku? Please, you must bow because we are in the presence of royalty. This is Princess Sun Shang Shang. I mean, at least they call her that every single time. Like, they always call her the princess, so I just decided. I'm assuming. I don't even know the name of the outfit. I'm assuming, I just thought it was a night outfit or some crap. But, she looks pretty damn royal in this outfit nonetheless, so. It's pretty much just going to be showcasing this. As you can also see, I also am sort of also showcasing the new bodyguard system as well. I'm going to be having a companion with, with us every single time. And, I don't know, I guess one guy's always so highly, like, praising Sun Shang Shang or, like, really always caring about her. So I thought he would be a good uh, person to be part of this group sir, or part of this uh, duo, I guess I should say. So I thought, man, why not? Let's put, let's put one guy in there. So we did. And that's what we're doing. So, um... We're just going to be playing one stage with her, like the normal thing that I usually do for a showcase. This isn't going to be anything super crazy or super long. Depending on how long this mission is, uh, we're not even going to probably get through the whole thing. Because like I said, it's it's just a showcase. It's not a huge deal. You guys just get to see the outfit and all that. So I guess with all that being said, I guess we should hop in here and uh, see what it's like in battle. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, when Sun Tse goes and takes over the Wu. The whoa, okay, wrong way. Uh, takes over the Wu territory. So I guess that's where I left off with Sun Shang Shang. As you can tell from her pitiful level, I have uh, not really played with her a lot. But I don't know with this outfit, I might actually do that because one thing I really do dig is the uh, is the, uh, the the long hair. I actually think she looks really good with long hair and everything. It looks really cool. So I'm also going to attempt to play with the wheels. I'm not really a huge fan of them myself, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give them another shot. I, I didn't really... I was doing it a day after uh, after a long day of work, so I didn't really get to enjoy the weapon as much as I maybe think I can. So I was extremely tired. As you can all probably see from the live stream I did with Sun Shang Shang. That I was getting a little bored of her weapon, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging it right now. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I just need it to be like more awake, more full of energy to really like see what I'm doing. Yo, I am destroying Taishitsu. Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. I hit someone with that at least. The last shot. The last shock wave of the of the arrow got him. Yeah, it's pretty fun actually, maybe this wheel, these wheels. I don't know. I don't know what made me not really like them that much. There's a lot of enemies for some reason. Holy moly. Damn, dude. There's a lot of these guys. That was really good. Alright. Alright, so where do we got next? We got Escort. The reconnaissance unit. So we already got that one done. Okay. I want to try to get all the sub sub objectives. Is like is what I like to call them. Oh, I think I'm also suffering a little bit from uh <clears throat> from allergies again. Nose is starting to get clogged up. My throat's feeling a little bit on fire. That arm just getting a cold. It's one or the other. But yeah, out of the four you've seen so far, and actually, funny enough, before I go on with that, cool enough, they already announced when the other, I'm assuming, uh, with the correct date, April 11th for the next four DLC costumes and stuff. Whoa! Did they, like, put more soldiers in here or something, or have there always been this many? Did they, like, implement more, like, during an update or something? Because if they did, or that, I just, I haven't really played this mission that much, so maybe they're just a lot to begin with. But damn, dude, there's a lot of foot soldiers here. More slaughter. It's what I like to see. Good lord. This is really cool. But yeah, so I think it's... Uh, Shin Xiong Ying, Wang Yi, and Gan Ning and Ling Tong. I saw all their outfits, and honestly, I really like it. I think the only one I really have a gripe with is Wang Yi's, hel with Wang Yi's helmet, but I'm assuming that's going to be without a helmet as well, so... I'm not really going to complain that much about it. Also, speaking of, and don't worry, I'll show off the look of the helmet later on. If you want to see them right off the bat, I did do a live stream. I mean, I guess I can also put it at the end screen. Because I, I, went, I went to look at a little more of the update 
and I played mostly with Sun Shang Shang and Lu Ling Chi during that up during that live stream. So if you want to see more on the update, then you can go over there. And I'll be sure to put, like I said, I'll be sure to put that uh, at the end of this video. Uh, good glory, he says. I know. I know. Uh, so I guess we will just go from top to bottom. Why not? <clears throat> Alright. Ah, elite guards. We need to kill the elite guards. Cheng Heng. But yeah, uh... So I guess... I'm assuming that's going to be coming out... I'm not really good on my days, but I'm assuming that's going to be coming out next week already? <clears throat> my god, my throat! It's actually going to be coming out next Thursday, which was, uh... Like this one. I think it was April 11th. It might, or maybe it was something else, but I'm pretty sure they said April 11th. Don't quote me. Either I, I know I saw I know I saw an 11th, but I don't know if it was like April 11th or May 11th. So take what I say with a grain of salt. But if it is, it's literally actually I guess this coming Thursday for all of you. For me, it's next Thursday because pre-recording is great and throws me off my scheduling. Not scheduling, but like uh, throws me off my my times. Oh, as you can also say, I got the Tiger Squad. So, I don't know if the, the, the costs can go up. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But, uh, I was able to get three Tigers. So, I got a, a Blue Tiger, a White Tiger, and then just some regular-ass Tiger. If I get a Golden Tiger, I think there's one. I'll uh, be sure to get him as well. But I can only put three in at a time. Uh, okay, so that one's done. And you, you can definitely see one guy's poor piss uh, level. That I've never played a sim either. Because he has the club, and I don't like clubs in this game. Probably probably a popular opinion. Clubs were never really a hugely fun weapon. Let me know if you are someone who's a fan of the club, because I really want to see if anyone is a fan of that club. I personally hate the clubs. I still wish he had like his like his lantern looking mace. And uh, his shield. Like in Dynasty Warriors 5. If you can't throw bombs, that's actually not a big deal. If, like, Even if it's like uh, the Dynasty Warriors 3 variation where he couldn't throw bombs and he just swung his lantern mace around. I really like calling it a lantern. It literally looks like a lantern. Now, I don't know if they called it a lantern or not, but it really looks like one. But I really hope maybe one day in the future they realize, oh, this club actually isn't as great as it used to be. I really, so I really hope one day they just give him that weapon back, because I really miss that weapon. If they need to make... I mean, he definitely got a lot bigger in, throughout the games. Like, he, he aged very well, I will say. One guy has aged very well. He's gotten much bigger since, uh, like, what, Dynasty Warriors 3, I think he became playable. But I'd really like to see him with his old weapon back. Maybe as a DLC and maybe a new season pass, because I, I honestly feel like they're going to do another season pass. Unless they've said, like... Because I don't really keep up on their social medias and stuff. Unless they said like, oh, nope, this is the last one. If they do another one, I want to see that Lantern Mace come back with the shield. That'd be dope. But if anything, I feel like we'd probably get that really dumb boat. I mean, people probably found it fun. I, th I found it to be a pretty cool weapon. But I just really prefer his old weapon. But my biggest ones that I want to see if they do a DLC is Sunsei's. Uh, Tonfa's and Sao P's, uh, Dual Blade. I missed that thing, too. Because we are going to be getting his wife sploop back, which is pretty cool. But I want to see the man himself get his weapon back. And I love that weapon. Whether it was Dynasty Warriors 5 or Dynasty Warriors 8, I enjoyed the crap out of that weapon. 
Not gonna lie though, his his long blade in uh, Dice Story Six was also a really dope move set. There we go. We didn't have to get into the castle. The man just ran out like an idiot. So that worked out. Perfect. Yufun! Oh, I didn't realize Wang Lang... I think I mentioned this last time, too. I didn't really see... He just surrendered to us, which is pretty cool. So did they end up changing Liu Yao's name to Liu... Or Liu Young's name to Liu Yao or something? Because I remember in the older games, he was called Liu Young. But now, apparently, it's Liu Yao... Did they like get a mis misinformation on or mistranslation or some crap, and that's why they changed it to Liu Liu Yao? Y'all gotta let me know, cause I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, what horse does one guy have? Oh, can I change that? I don't think I can change that. Wow. All right. I don't think they thought that far ahead. Cause I couldn't. I don't think I could change it at the house either. Maybe I could. I don't know. I didn't really try it. Drive off the bandits. This isn't that boring one where there's like bandits like in certain locations, is it? Oh no, that's Hefe. Never mind. We're good. I think we're good. I think they're just literally bandits just chilling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just chilling out, fighting our people. Oh, I thought I, I thought I jumped. I did not jump. But yeah, so I'll show her what it look what she looks like with the helmet on uh, at the end of this video, like I normally do. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I thought I might as well do it now. <clears throat> hey ya! I like that they kept her 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 twirls like the, like this move. I remember that was like her very last move in her uh, charge move set, and I actually am really happy that they kept that in. Or, well, actually, no. I think in the in eight she throws she throws them forward, but then gets them back. But in the older games, with it's her very last charge attack, so she would just start twirling them around her, and it would get everyone around her, which was really really cool. I don't know. I think part of me also kind of wants to do a kind of a series of this <clears throat> whole thing. So what I what I mean by this is I kind of want to go through like most if yeah. Well, I'm assuming all the Dynasty Warriors games. I'd have to get seven again if I do this. So this might be a down the line kind of thing. Unless I keep my PS now, which twenty dollars a month? Are you kidding me? But. I don't know. I'm think, and also I'd have to unlock every character again, so I might, I'd probably be better off just getting the 360 version. So I'd probably have to get the 360 version again to get uh, Dynasty Warrior Seven, which I'm assuming is probably rare at this point. I don't know. Maybe, oh, actually, maybe it's available to debt to the to, to, to purchase on 360 dashboard. I don't know. I'll find out because I got all my save data on that. But if I can do that, I could go through like someone in a certain game. Kind of like an evolution of that character kind of thing. So I would... And I'd make it a weekly thing. So I'd do like one video, one week of like... Let's say Sun Shang Shang, for instance. I don't know if... Hong Gai? I'm sorry, Hong Gai just threw me off. Did you all see that? Did, did, you, did you all see that? It's like, I don't know how to operate this. How did my tigers get up here? Yo, that's some really good tiger shit. But, um... So yeah, let's take Sun Shang Shang, for example. I don't know what game she started in. I'm going to say two. Obviously, we won't do one because it was a complete fighting game. So, I don't really care about that one. But, for two, let's say, yeah, let's say she was in two and then all the way up to here. So, I do like Dynasty Warriors 2 one week, Dynasty Warriors 3 the next week. And I do this all on the same day of that week. So, like, say we just did it on strict Monday. So, one Monday, you'd get Dynasty Warriors 2 version. Dynasty Warriors 3 version of her, Dynasty Warriors 4, and so on and so forth. I think that's really a fun series to do. I don't know. I think that's. I think that'd be something really fun to do. I, did, I don't know. I just came up with it out of the top of my head. I was like, you know, I was looking at my other games, and I was playing... Actually, no. It was when I got... But I was playing Diao Chan. 
So I ended up just playing with Diablo yeah, because uh, I did a Warriors Roji video. If you have not seen it yet, go check it out. But um, I ended up playing as Diao Chan pretty much mostly during that Warriors Roji video. And that's where I got the idea. I'm like, you know what? I should do like a video, like a little series, like and make it a weekly thing. Play as like a certain character, like from the very first game that they're in, aside from excluding the first Dynasty Warriors. And then go from two to nine if they are in all those, because some of them got cut out from some of the games. Holy crap! I hate... Why are you crouched, bitch? Okay. Here, take my bow. Aw, oh, man, you got my dress all wet. Or wet, all dirty. Hip. Oop. Oh, it's right. They have assassins trying to kill me. He's like, that's not very honorable. And you're right. Why are you working with this guy, Taishitsu? How dare you? I don't know, why would you work with such a dastardly bastard? The dastard bastard. Actually, I think after Tyson said, we'll call the video here just to, uh... Just so we don't make this video go too long. Because I like... I want to record the other thing. What other ones, too? Oh, I thought I had my special. I'm an idiot. But yeah, since we're getting close to killing him now, I'll just say this now. If you all did enjoy seeing this cool showcase of, uh, Sun Shang Shang... Then be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below as well your thoughts on the DLC costumes as well as the ones that are going to be coming out, I guess, this week. And then, um, if you haven't already, we are trying to hit 500 subs before summer. Be sure to, so be sure to hit that sub button as quickly as possible because we are trying to hit 500 subs before summer. We are less than 30 away from 400, and man, I'm going to do a pretty special live stream if we can hit 400 within the month. So, be sure to do that. We still have plenty of time to hit that... To hit that 500 mark you guys have been doing amazing with how much you've been hitting that sub button so thank you so much on that so i guess with all that being said hope you all did enjoy checking out sun shank shang's dlc outfit more to come with the other four and i think i'll probably do another live stream like i did with these with the dlc and update so but i'll be sure to do all of the characters in one for the next dlc uh costume pack so with all that being said guys thank you all very much for watching this and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye